Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Shoot You School. Today we're going to be talking about an element of university and college that I haven't really discussed yet. I've always been thinking about this. Anyway, before I jump right into it, I just want to say thank you guys for watching our videos. Thank you for tuning in again, and we hope you like them. Also, if you're new here, please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, that's what I mean and subscribe because your subscription helps us grow also feel free to click the bell button right next to the subscription button that way you never ever miss a post from us this keeps us going this helps the channel and this helps us move forward uh right now i want to talk to you about professors professors in canada now it's important to know that not all a lot of the professors in Canada are not Canadian. A lot of them are international people from India, from China, from Russia, from all over the world. What does that mean? This means that you might find it difficult hearing some of them. A lot of them might be speaking with an accent that might be difficult for you to understand. What else? A lot of professors are intelligent but are not good teachers. So they have the PhD, they're doing research, but they do not know how to teach. What do you do then? You typically start making YouTube your new professor because I've experienced professors who I know they know the content, but they just don't know how to convey the message. It's super annoying and really bad. Now the question would be, how can I avoid this? Well, there is no 100% sure way, but there are ways to which you can prepare or maybe even actually avoid it, but it's not 100% guaranteed. Now, there's a website online called RateMyProfessor.com. If you Google Rate My Professor, you will see a website that lets you, go lets you search the name of your professor and you get to see reviews about your professor. People would say things about your professor. That way, you get to be able to prepare for your professor or not even take the class at all. The other option is that a lot of universities in Canada give you the option to pick different classes for the same course. So what does that mean? Some of these different classes have different professors teaching the same courses, so you can pick a different professor. There are professors who have really good ratings and usually it's correct because these professors are actually good and interactive. So what does this mean for you? This means that you can look at your syllabus, look at the classes you have to take, look at your, your schedule and begin to research on the professors because a lot of people tell me, um, used to tell me in high school that A, your teacher doesn't matter, but it's not true. How do you want to bring out clean water from a very dirty tap? What I'm trying to say here is simple. Ensure that you have the right professor because that is a huge bonus to your study in university. You're paying for this, you're paying for the class, you're paying for good service. And I know it sucks when the teacher begins to misbehave and get on your nerves. Remember that you could also report some teachers, but the thing is a lot of these professors have been in the school for a very long time and they have secure positions. Sometimes they are the head of the department, so it's really hard to get them off their seats. Whatever the case may be, be prepared to meet good professors bad professors and somewhere in between. There's a lot more, but if you have further questions, please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment below and subscribe, and we will get to you as well. For those of you who have emailed us, we will get back to you via email as well. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And we have a PayPal that you can also donate to to help the channel keep growing. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.